everyone, I hope you're all fantastic. Let's hear some more goodies from the Cygnus Ant Modeling update for the Axe FX 3. I'm just going to start out with a couple of Ant models that I've been jamming on today. And what I found, as with most firmware updates on the 3, uh, I end up doing less deep editing on this thing. Back when I had an Axe FX Ultra, felt like that's all I did to get the tones that I wanted. And I did less on the AX8 and way less when the Axe FX 3 first came out. Now with this Cygnus amp modeling, it's I can bring up something like the Deluxe Verb Vibrato. And I've got my PRS Custom 24 at the moment I'm using one of my own cabs, which you can get for free from Xchange and a bit of this London Plate Reverb. And I'm pretty satisfied just using the tone control and the pickup selector on my guitar without even tweaking the amp. <laughs> That's it. That's just the amp. That's how dynamic it is. And uh, I've just really been enjoying that kind of just plugging straight into something and using my fingers and the stuff I have on my guitar to uh, to kind of get the different textures happening. Of course, uh, I like adding this JFET compressor for some funky stuff in front of this amp model. <laughs> Also this new sonic drive that's been added if i take that and i'll go to the bridge pickup on this guitar but tone control all the way down i've added this stereo bbd delay you get this like kind of fuzz for people who don't like fuzz <laughs> Something like that anyway, it's uh, it's almost like you took Eric Johnson, put a cocked wire in front of it and had some Australian guy on YouTube try to play his licks. So that is the Deluxe Verb Vibrato stock settings. I'm in love with that. That's easily jumped into my kind of top five ant models now in this firmware. Speaking of uh, ant models I'm enjoying on this firmware, the Brit 800. Uh, in my opinion, has kind of come alive in this firmware. So stock settings, I have, well, turn the presence down and master volume up. So technically it's not stock, but that's all I've done there. And you know, if you had a real JCM 800 with the master volume on seven, uh, you would kind of stun everything in submission, uh, into submission in like a 20 kilometer radius or something. But I've just compensated by bringing the level control down and we get this. <laughs>
And I really find on this guitar that playing around with the tone control, uh, because there's full humbucking modes and there's parallel modes in here, uh, really, really helps with these particular models there. So that's the Brit 800. One other kind of modified Marshall thing that's ridiculous, and this is at the stock settings, is the Cameron CCV. There's, I think, six different models in there, but 2A is the one I gravitate towards. <laughs> That is thick. And then add the CC boost in the amp block, add a delay block, and you're in heaven when it comes to high gain soloing. And again, stock settings on the amp block. <laughs> so much that's amazing so the usa lead mid gain so this is how i've got it dialed in uh, you can see the settings on there kind of typical boogie things and then the output eq that's where i set it there i also like to go into the preamp block and make a little tweak but first let's just hear this straight up <laughs> So it's absolutely thick and glorious. I like to set the preamp low cut to about 250 hertz just to tighten it up even more. And uh, apologies for only playing the first half of Pull Me Under there, but I'll do it again. <laughs> My other little tweak that I like here is to go to the speaker impedance curve and uh, just select my favorite impedance curve, which is the 5153. That kind of vibe there. And then uh, my last little one that I like is in the power amp to set the transformer drive to two. Then if you want to do a lead thing, crack the fat switch on that's on the ideal page and i'm going to turn this delay on again you know what i might even put the cc boost on that's my favorite boost in the app block and uh we get this <laughs> Again, it's making me do this face. Let me get my single cut really quickly just so I can let you hear the difference between this guitar, which is in standard tuning quite bright, and my single cut, which is in drop C and a little bit darker. <laughs> Boom.
boost off, fat switch off, back to the chunky stuff. <laughs> I really like the clarity in this amp model as well. I've always liked the clarity in this amp model, but uh, now it's there with this kind of really nice low mid grind as well. The last video I did, I showed off the FAS Brutals amp model. And if you didn't believe me that it was at stock settings, let's do this. Let's hit edit, reset channel. So everything goes back. And this is still one of the most ridiculous high gain sounds I think I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the good stuff. The FAS moderns sound amazing in this firmware as well. So modern number one, I think modern number three is my other favorite one. Uh, the main, well, the modern number one, I like to add the grinder boost in front of. Uh, so crank the boost up and turn the amp input drive down a bit. <laughs> Just nasty and brutal as they should be. Number three is really, really fun as well. Let's check that one out. <laughs> That one's almost like a recto with a bit of a martial character in there or something. Again, uh, boost it with the grinder boost and bring up a little bit of bass because the grinder carves out so much low end. <laughs> That kind of stuff. And one last one before we go well, into the high gain stuff. Let's have a listen to the 5153. I like the 50 watt blue. And for me with this amp model, you can actually cover quite a lot of ground with it. But I would probably start by bringing up the bass and ducking a bit of middle, adding a bit of treble and bring the depth and the master volume down as well. So let's just compensate by bringing the level control back up on that one, say to maybe minus nine. And then this one loves a boost in front. I'd probably use the Horizon Precision Drive in front of it. Let's start with the drive low, the level all the way up. Let's just hear the amp and then we will kick in the drive. <laughs> Good stuff right there. So that's the 5153 with the precision drive. That's kind of a classic combination. And there's a bunch of stuff that I'm enjoying with the Cygnus update. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to try this beta firmware, head over to the Fractal Forum and try it out. Uh, be warned, it is going to change the sound of a bunch of amps and things like that. But uh, to me, it's a good different. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.